on that. I'm lat. Oh. I'm lat. Come in, there's a car coming. This is quite a fancy oh. list, isn't it? <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my vlog. I've had to put the ring light on this morning because it's probably one of the most miserable mornings ever. Oh, I could hear something then. Hang on, I might be, it might be a parcel. I'm back. Um, it wasn't a parcel, but I am waiting on some boots, so that's what I thought it was. So I'm kind of flinching at every movement because I want them to come before I go out. But I really highly doubt that it's, it's about 10 to 9 and I'm going out in about 45 minutes, so I don't think they'll come. Anyway, um, I just thought I'd jump on here to say hello, welcome to the vlog, and intro that is not good. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing today. So I've got my headband on from Zara. This jumper I got last year and I think it's from a brand from Revolve. They sent it to me, but I can't remember what it was, but... It's last year's anyway, but I will try and look for something similar. It's so, so cozy as well. Got my black leather trousers with it and I really want my new boots to come, but I don't think they will. So I'm just gonna put some old black boots on, I think. Um, it's Friday, Friday the 4th of October and it is the most miserable Friday I've ever seen. It has been miserable weather all week though, to be fair. So I'm going today to an event in Manchester. It's, I don't know if any of you know Manchester, it's where Jack Wills used to be. And there's like a massive kind of pop-up event slash shop. I know Klarna's involved. I don't know whether it's all to do with Klarna, I think it might be, but we're going to an ASOS gifting suite. I'm gonna meet Freya there as well. So. Uh, this is what I'm wearing. Just about to pop my jewellery on. I've got some brand new Anna Luisa jewellery and they very kindly sponsored this part of the video. They have the most gorgeous pieces. They've kind of been on my radar before um, but I've never actually had anything from them. So I've got two pairs of earrings and a ring to show you. So I think Actually, I really like both the earrings, but I think these are my absolute favourites. So I might pop those on today just to give a bit of extra. And then definitely wearing this gorgeous ring. So it's like this chain kind of ring. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to just pop it on that finger. This is such a me ring, I feel like. If ever there was a ring made for me, it's this. It's simple, it's elegant, but it's also kind of a little bit different and not just a plain gold band. And then I have these beautiful earrings. So these, this kind of thing comes in so, so handy with the gold and the pearls. I just feel like you can kind of throw that on with anything and it goes and it instantly jazzes up the outfit. I love the shade of gold. And basically what they say, one of their messages is that it takes about, I think they say 20 tons of earth mining to produce one gold ring, which is huge. So they say that's why a lot of brands don't actually tell you where their gold is coming from. So Ana Luisa actually use 100% recycled gold. So I think everything's gold plated. These earrings are 14 karat gold plated and they're just so beautiful. So what's great about these, I mean, they won't tarnish very very easily which is great for me because I wear if I if I like something I'll wear it on repeat and I feel like earrings like these are just ones that you can wear every day with absolutely everything they've got some really pretty pieces on there that are kind of a little bit different but again really really wearable and yeah I just chose these pieces personally for me I just think I want something for every day that's not too statement because I've got statement earrings and you wear those every now and again but realistically how much do you actually wear them these are just gorgeous just for everyday wear and you will see me wearing those throughout this video so thank you to Anna Luisa so much because the pieces are absolutely stunning. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on now. I might actually get changed because I've just had another idea for a slightly different outfit. I'll try it on. I feel really hot now, but I know it's horrible rubbish weather outside, so I need to think about that. And I'm also packing because I'm going to Tim's this weekend. So we're going to this Klarna event and then I'm coming home and I'm going to Tim's. We're gonna finish off some work. He's editing some videos for me. I think we'll finish off work and then we're gonna go and watch The Joker, which I've never kind of seen any of that kind of film before. So we're gonna watch that. Should be interesting. And then we're gonna try and go to Wagamama's because we tried to go the other week and it was like a half hour wait. So I'm sure it'll be the same today, but you know whatever. We're gonna try that. So enough waffling. I shall take you with me 
probably show you my final outfit at some point as well. So final outfit, I'm going to have to show you very quickly, but same jumper, leather coat by Pixie Market, it's like a trench coat, old Lovie's trousers and I've just got some black kitten heel boots on and the lovely headband and my Anna Louisa ring. Right, let's go. It's now a good time to vlog. James dropping me off at the station but he's in my car. Whoop. Back from his holiday. He's attempting to drive my car. Manchester went into the Klarna pop-up store. I think it's meant to be there for a couple of weeks actually. It's open for everyone and you can just nip in. It's where um, Jack Wills used to be and it's all Klarna so it's all pay later. So Oliver Bonus was in there, ASOS, loads of different brands actually. Anyway we're en route to the cinema now. We're gonna watch The Joker. It's quarter to four been sat in bed doing work. <laughs> that was the benefit of being self-employed. So I'm back in my, um, back in my, back in my habitat. Sorry. Well, kind of, because I was actually gonna say back in my teddy coat, but you actually show my outfit. Anyway, this is what I'm wearing. So it's my old teddy coat from Lovie's last year. New Adidas Stan Smith. I've got these naked fashion leather trousers on and then just this jumper from Ron, uh, uh, from Zara last year. Um, but I think they still do similar ones. I'm a Gucci bag, but I feel like I'm back in my usual habitat now. I actually feel so happy that I'm back in my teddy coat. I feel like it's where I belong. Totally. And you're in your Mac. Um, your nice Reese jumper. Anyway, we're going to watch the Joker and then after that we're going to try again to go to Wagamama's um, but we're just going to wait it out this time if they say there's a queue because you can't book online yet because it's a new one where we are so we're just going to have to wait for it. Yeah, let's, let's go to the cinema. I see. Very intense, very, I don't know, it was just very well done, wasn't it? But yeah, we're gonna go and get something to eat now. Why for the best? Why for the best? Sorry, I feel like I could do with a um, drink after watching that. Just 
to try and relax. A smile on that face. It's very, very tense. Anyway, it's really tense. So oh. <laughs> Soon be in and out at this rate. It's not pickle, that's fish. It's what? Not it's fish. No, it's like pickle. Oh uh, yeah. See now. That is the nicest pickle I've ever had. <laughs> So it's the next day now. We um, went to Wagamama's. It took about an hour. Three hours? <laughs> at least an hour, wasn't it? Literally had to wait an hour for my meal. Him got his, had eaten it all, taken it away, moved on. Um, and I was still waiting for my main course. So we ended up getting a free bottle of wine, a free pudding, and they knocked my main course off, which was good of them. Our waiter was so nice, felt so bad for him, but yeah, Patrick. Did you want to say thumbs up to Patrick. He did really well. Thumbs up to Patrick. Mm. Um, yeah, so. He handled it very well. It did. The food was <laughs> alright. It was a catalogue of errors. It was quite good, but. Tim's just been really naughty and snuck in the wrong way in the car park. Um, but we managed to get a space. Anyway, uh, yeah, it took so long for my meal to arrive, but I don't think this person can, re can reverse. We've come to the re retail park near we'll back a little bit. and we're just about to go and get some home stuff. Usually all right until it goes beep, 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 I don't beep, like beep, the beeps. Well, the what beeps are helpful. Anyway, we're going to get hopefully some bits for the new apartment because it's two weeks until we move in and we need to make sure we've got all kind of the boring essentials. Oh, he's off. See ya. Um, yeah, so I better get out now anyway. Oh, I'm wearing my new Ana Luisa earrings. I love them and the ring as well. And then just this under the stories jumper. New Zara kind of chinoy trousers. And my Louis bag. I try my best to concentrate. I try my best to keep my mind in. Into home sense, having a look at all in the crockery really we want or oh, we need things like this a cheese grater it's just things you don't even think of oh should we get a nice pestle and mortar i mean not that oh my god that's so heavy we'll need a cheese grater tim yeah that's absolutely essential we need things like this colanders and stuff should we go and get a basket um yeah unless there's some at the top Let's go and get a basket. Basket is found. Tim start with finds these? this aisle very essential. I'm not going to pick anything because I have a feeling that anything I pick up is only one. <laughs> that is correct. Um, what about these? These are nice. Small. No. Okay. No, you're right. I'll just pick them. Yeah, I'll get mine. Okay. On to the cutlery. What a minefield. <laughs> um, I think like how much do you want? Well, enough to have people round. 24 piece set. No, I don't like that. I just prefer very plain. What's this one? It's just nice and plain. And our trolley full of goodies which shall be revealed when we actually move in. Just mainly boring things, but a couple of nice glasses. So finished in home sense. We ended up getting quite a lot of stuff, just mainly like cutlery, kitchen implements, like little bits right of stuff. Here. You can't go right here. Tim, no, no, there's a car coming, there's a car coming. You don't want to wait half an hour in that, do you? I'd rather do that than be... I saw him, don't panic. Anyway, we've got our stuff and we're going to go back now. We're going to Tim's mum and dad's for something to eat tonight. So, yeah, probably going fairly soon. It's getting a bit dark, isn't it? It's only four. The weather has officially changed. You're on the wrong side of the roundabout. Who's going to come next to me? 
to you another day. I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow, so maybe talk to you tomorrow. Back in the car. It's Sunday now. Um, I will literally oh, show you my earrings. These are my Anna Luisa earrings. So pretty. I actually love wearing gold jewellery with pearls when I'm wearing grey because I think the pearls and the grey really complement each other rather than just having kind of plain gold or just wearing silver. I like having the pearls. Literally just got in the car. I've got my cosy teddy coat on because we're going for a walk, a little walk, and then we're going for a pub lunch. Um, which should be really nice. I've got my blazer in the back and different pair of shoes. I've got my wellies on at the moment. Yes. Otherwise I'd not be able to get in the car without the key. Oh, you mean the door key? Yeah. But hopefully it's not going to rain, so that's okay. We had a really nice meal last night at Tim's and my dad's. And yeah, that's about it. Not much exciting has happened. Oh, you've moved this seat. Yeah, because I drove home. So. Holy minute. Anyway, let's go on a walk. I've been feeling as of late That all I want to do is go out somewhere of what if which we started watching last night which was quite good actually anyway we had a lovely meal i had the beef wellington and tim had a beef roast dinner it was good Woo. wasn't it it was really really nice anyway we're gonna go in now just chill and i'll catch you again soon so I wasn't actually going to film for the vlog today. Soon, well, considering I've been doing a video, just filmed a styling video um, and it's a sponsored one for New Look. And I just wanted to show you this that I got in it just because it is the comfiest jogging suit I think I've got at the moment. Big statement, but yeah. So it's from New Look. The hoodie is $19.99 and the bottoms are $17.99. I'll get a shot downwards so then you can see what they look like. But they are so, so comfortable. They're high-waisted as well. I actually cannot wait. I think I'm going to save them until we move. So I've got like a nice pair of like matching loungewear to wear when we move into the new apartment. But it is so comfortable. Such a lovely shade of grey and feels really better quality than you'd expect from New Look, which is a fairly, that's quite quite an affordable high street brand, but it feels a bit more high end and it's not too thick or chunky either. But I just really wanted to show you it. So it's Monday now. I've literally just filmed this styling video. It's Monday afternoon. Got that out of the way. I'm gonna try and film a quick video. Well, not quick, but about my like luxury, purchases in terms of bags i think so i'm gonna share that soon hopefully i'm gonna film it now but i've got loads to do today you know and it's one of those mondays where you don't actually realize how much you've got to do until it happens so anyway i'm gonna crack on now probably speak to you again tomorrow what's tomorrow i've got a dentist appointment with dr asim not got long on the braces left now which is so exciting um i can't wait to get them off and just kind of get them all cleaned and whitened and see the finished result now because they're looking so straight. If you want to know more about my Invisalign, by the way, I am working with Dr. Asim on some discounted treatment, but it is all, I've got an Invisalign highlight on my Instagram page, and I've also done a YouTube Q&A with him, and you can find the link to that through the Invisalign page. But it's quite useful if you are thinking about Invisalign. Dr. Asim is amazing as well. If you are in the Manchester area, he's just based in Salford. Really easy practice to get to. He's also offering discount code Lydia10 for 10% off. So if you are in the Manchester area and thinking about treatment like Invisalign, whitening, any cosmetic dental surgery, then 
that's surgery, cosmetic, dental stuff, then definitely worth messaging him on Instagram about it and you can find all the details on my Instagram highlight. Anyway, <laughs> I, um, I'm i going to see him tomorrow and then I need to shoot an outfit with Tim in Manchester. I'll probably try and do two outfits whilst I'm there because, well, weather dependent I think, but that is the update. So I'm going to film my other video now, but I just sort of clock on and say hello. See you tomorrow. Morning everyone. So it's now Tuesday morning and basically what happened yesterday? Came back from Tim's in the morning and then basically just worked all day. Uh, oh yeah, I showed you the jogger suit, didn't I? Yeah, so I just worked all day after that, just from home um, today, Tuesday. And I've actually been invited to a bit of a last minute event with Never Fully Dressed. So if you don't know them, they're quite a cool brand actually. They do loads of like good styling tips and things like that, but they are a fashion brand. Um, they've got some really nice pieces on their website actually. So I've got the dentist first. I wasn't sure whether I could make it or not. I think I should be able to do it. I'm going to the dentist this morning at quarter past 11. I'm going there. Well, I'm going to Tim's now. It's like just gone nine. I'm just going to send him some, give him some clips to start editing. Then I'm going to go to the dentist and then I'm going to go to the event, which is at San Carlo Bottega because I've never fully dressed to have a new pop. I don't know whether it's a pop up or an actual stand in selfridges in the city in manchester city center so we're going to san carlo bottega which is the restaurant within selfridges and it's so nice it's got the most gorgeous food it's like italian tapas it's delicious but first of all i'm not actually going to wear this to the event i'm going to change this is an outfit i need to shoot because i'm working with new look and i've got an amazing coat to put on i'll show you in a minute which i'm actually shooting as part of the campaign but it is so good it's all on instagram if you want to go and see it well it will be it's not yet what else? That's about it really. So I'm going to take you along with me today and it should be a really nice event. I can't stay too long. I need to shoot off and then finish some work but it should be good. Am I out of focus? This is not okay. But yeah I'm wearing new look at the moment and then my new look coat. I'll show you that in a sec. Also just popped on my new replica scent. It's called Coffee Break. I don't know if I've spoken about this in a vlog but I've definitely put it on Instagram. This is the thing. It's Maze and Margiela. It is divine. Replica fragrances are probably one of the nicest fragrances ever. I have the, I think it's called Under the Lemon Tree, but it's a bit more citrusy and summery. But this is just heavenly. It's got notes of coffee in it. I think that's like their main note, but it doesn't smell like really overly um, strong. It says it's a male and female fragrance, which I completely get. But for me, I think it's slightly more female, but it is just divine i'm normally quite a florally scent person but this is so nice it's not musty it doesn't smell really masculine or manly but it's just got something about it that is just so gorgeous i think if i'm right it's available in selfridges but don't quote me on that but you'll be able to get your hands on it if you have a little look around online so this is the coat it's from new look oh it just feels so nice and snuggly and soft. I've never had a leopard print faux fur one before, but I've decided I really like it. It's one of those things that I've never just gone for, not because I don't love them, um, just because I've, I've just not. But I think this is amazing. It's so snuggly and soft. And I think it would go with quite a lot as well because I wear a lot of neutrals. I think you could easily make this go with quite a lot. So I'm just wearing it with this jumper, leather trousers, trainers, and I've just got on my Gucci bag, but let's go. So dentist is finished now, back with Freya. And we've uh, just shot these outfits. I shot my first outfit, got changed, and shot these second outfits now. Oh, it's very bright. It's very quite bright. good light in here, actually. Yeah. So I'm gonna head into the event now, just upstairs. Oh, actually, we can go through here and have a quick The door's not. Oh, not in order. Anyway, I'll just show you my outfit before we head in. Okay, so I've got my H&M Times Richard Allen skirt on. A mango belt, which I actually talked about in my last vlog. New Topshop boots. And then this jumper by Lowry's Future Bag. Tell me that you 
quarter to four and I need to set off five minutes ago but I thought I would show you my outfit before I set off so we're going to an event tonight Tim's coming with us Freya's meeting me there we're going to shoot an outfit for beforehand which is going to be this and then we're going to get changed but Tim's meeting me there after he finishes work it's basically a homeware event which is so exciting and a bit of a change from Manchester but I mean it couldn't come more perfect timing for us because we're moving out in a week and a half now. It's, oh, I can't, I don't know how to pronounce the brand. Um, I'll try and put it on screen if I can. But basically, it's a new kind of Scandi brand. I think it is a Scandi brand. Very much like Ikea, but a bit smaller, basically. But I really like this stuff. It's very kind of Scandi, neutral, that vibe. And really nice pieces. So I'm really excited. So Tim's going to meet me there, and then we're going to choose some pieces that we can hopefully put out in the flat. I think you pronounce it Sustrengrin? I don't know. I will link it because there's some gorgeous pieces. There's a new store opening. If I'm right, I think it's in St. Anne's Square. And the event tonight is in the Royal Exchange. So we're going to head there after we've shot our first outfits. Do a quick change. Story of my life. I'm wearing this Stories jumper. It was £45, which is, for them, really affordable. I just love the shape of it. It's so nice, I'll try and link that below. Headband from a brand called Ear. They've got some really nice pieces actually. Jewelry, my earrings are from Ana Luisa, of course. And then wearing their ring again, which I've been wearing all week. Absolutely love. Leggings, Zara leather leggings are from Zara. And then I've just got my Adidas trainers on, which I think I'll keep on for the outfit shot. Um, I've got this amazing new mascara. I don't know if you can see it. But it's from by Bare Minerals and it's called Lashtopia. And I will link it below because it is amazing. Probably the best mascara I've ever had next to YSL Baby Doll, which I love. But this one is so good. Anyway, I really need to go and stop rambling. So we arrived and obviously I'm wearing a different outfit to the one that I set off in. Um, we've just shot our first outfit. We've only got this to shoot Inside, believe it or not. Inside here, actually. Inside. So you'll see that on my Instagram. And now... Oh, I've not got an umbrella, have you? Oh, I think we might be all right. Should we check the weather? Well, I've got a scarf, so where's the Can I borrow it? No, I need to check the weather. I need to check the weather. We're in no rush, anyway. No. We've got half so, we're going to shoot these outfits. Rain. 70% rain. I think we need an umbrella, don't we? Back to the car. Back to the car. Go. I'm going to shoot these outfits and then Tim's meeting us at 6. And then we'll go to the event, which starts at 6. Oh, oh. I panicked. <laughs> which we're trying to have a debate of where it is. I think it's in the Royal Exchange. Well, I thought we were going to the store, but Lydia says we're not. No. You think we're just going to like a pop-up? I think we need to check the invite. Do you know, they've only got three or four stores in the UK, one of which is Manchester and one of which is Altrincham, oh. one of which is Cheadle. So they oh. all seem to, or Chester. Oh right, so they're all coming in this area. Yeah. And then I can't remember where it was, Birmingham or something. These are our outfits, both in leather trousers, both in blazers. This well, is not planned. Standard. standard, right, let's get brollies. <laughs> And then we'll head off into, <laughs> into <laughs> Harvey Nichols for a quick toilet stop. Floor to doors closing. This is quite a fancy doors lift, isn't it? Opening. It is with me inside. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, this is my so, outfit. <laughs> this is Freya's hair. Um, so I've got my Lovie's trousers on, new Topshop boots. 
Zara blazer, Zara knit, Gucci bag and headband by a brand called Ear Official. What are you wearing? What's it called? Ear. E-A-R? Ear. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was a V. Oh, it's upside down V. E-A-R. E-V-R, I read that as. Let's fill it. Oh, it's on now. Mm, it's, on, it's on quite well. No, when well, I tagged the brand, it was I've just seen it and thought it was EVR. Oh, well, at the end of the night, we can whip it off and have no, a look. It'll be your right. I've never heard of it before. Me neither until they messaged me. I really like the look of leather pants and trainers. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm a fan <laughs> Not to blow my own trumpet, but, yeah, but you know, I like, really you like what I'm wearing. And I really like the yeah, I do. Leather train, orange. leather trainers, <laughs> leather trousers. Yeah, I still don't think I'm going to invest into the Balenciaga side. No, me too. It's not my vibe. Anyway, this is what we're wearing. What are we? What's what's the plan? We need to go find where the hell we're going. <laughs> I we think. Don't even know. Well, I, yeah, I you know watch. where the Royal Exchange is. I know, I think, I'm hoping we'll just see it. And she we'll said it's balloons in the something. Royal Exchange. I just don't understand that. Surely it'd be at the store. And if so, store where is might the not store? I've never even Near seen there, because I look... Mm. Oh, that's a mystical there. tune. That's what it... Standard. Oh, it's an unknown number. I don't, oh, don't answer it. I never answer it. Hello. Yeah, speaking. What are we up to this evening? Other time job. We're at Sustring Gren. Sustring Gren. How do we say it? <laughs> Sustring Gren. And basically it's a new store opening. And it's all like Scandinavian homeware, which I have already said. So. Scandi. Scandinavian Zizi's. Tim's got himself a hanging kebab and I've got super zuka salad which is so good from here. Obviously we couldn't be complete without sharing some truffle fries with my salad but you know moderation and balance. Oh, good morning everyone. It is the most miserable morning it's friday and i don't know if you heard me last night but we went to zz's and i didn't really want to film in there because they had music on and um it picks up youtube picks it up if it's non-royalty free music and then i'll get punished for it so um i didn't want to vlog too much in there but we just nipped for something to eat after the event but the store was so gorgeous so string grin grin eh? Yeah, some beautiful pieces. I picked quite a bit out and I'm probably gonna go back there to be honest, but I'm not gonna show you in this vlog. I'm actually gonna show you we're moving house, well, moving into a new apartment in just over a week. So that's gonna be part of all my moving, interiors kind of stuff. People are aggressive in car parks. Anyway, I just managed to bag myself a space. It's quarter to 10 now. I've got an event with, who are 
are these people? I've got an event with Shop Style, which is lovely, because I use them on the regular. I thought Freya had messaged me, but she's not. I've got an event with Shop Style. Um, it's a brunch. Um, Freya's definitely going. I don't know where she is at the moment. I've not messaged, she's not read my message, but um, it should be really nice. <sighs> I've just got to brave this rain though. I need to get my umbrella. Anyway, I'll show you all my stuff in a, in a future vlog that I got last night. And I was gonna actually end the vlog before the event, but I think I'll just continue into the event. I'm wearing, I don't really know if you can see properly, this like fluffy jumper from Zara last year. Mango belt, Zara like those baggy jeans and then some sock boots. I've got my Ana Luisa jewelry on. And also, I don't know if I mentioned at the very beginning of the vlog, but I will pop it on the screen. If you use Lydia 10, you get $10 off your purchase. So that's a nice little help and I'll put it all in the description box as well. But anyway, let's, um, I'm a bit scared to head out. It's, it's 15 minutes off starting and it's not gonna take me 15 minutes to walk. <laughs> It's just so grim. But I'm gonna see where Freya's at and um, what is wrong with people? I've actually got her on Find My Friends, but it didn't update when I last checked, so. What is wrong with people? Serious aggression. Oh, she says she's 0.3 miles away from me. Oh yeah, I can see where she is. Anyway, we'll call her now. Okay, so I'll see you when we get into the Ivy. basically kind of rushed out of the event well not rushed but we didn't film much towards the end of the event because we found out that there'd been stabbings in manchester in the arndale center which isn't that far from the ivy i mean manchester is a pretty small city compared to london or whatever so it's all quite tight and i think everybody just got a little bit panicked not even not panicked, but you know, we'd heard that there'd been these stabbings in the Arndale. As far as I know, um, I've just got home now. Um, I think four or five people have been stabbed, but they seem to have caught the person that did it. It's just all really scary, isn't it? Especially because we're moving there next week. I don't know, it's just scary and kind of puts things into perspective. But yeah, I don't want to let one vile person put a downer on anything or affect anything in any way. So I've got home from the event now and I thought I'd just show you what I've got in my goodie box. So it was such a lovely brunch. I feel like it was such a nice group of girls. Quite a few that I knew there and then some that I'd never met before but it was really nice to chat to everyone and it was just a lovely brunch. If you've not been to the Ivy in Manchester you need to go because it's absolutely gorgeous. But I'm going to show you, oh my gosh, oh, this is such a nice goodie bag, like wow. So first of all we've got some popcorn, amazing. Who doesn't like popcorn? This I'm really intrigued about. It's called Blondie's Kitchen. I mean, I'm already overly excited about what's happening in here. <gasps> oh my God, that is so good. That literally smells divine. I feel like I deserve a little bit of that. <clears throat> We've got a lovely shop style booklet. So if you don't know what shop style is, basically I work with them on an affiliate basis. So if I share an affiliate link, it means I get a very small percentage of the sales because I've helped drive that sale. So I'll get, I don't know, a pound or two, or not even that, sometimes it's like pennies, for driving the sale. It's just like a commission almost for pushing that. Um, but also shop style are 
available to everybody and it's such a good system basically you can sign up to it and then you have access to i don't know thousands of brands and you can search things so if i if somebody asks for my advice or can you find um i don't know a navy coat for me or if i'm trying to link something similar but it's out of stock the one i've got and i want some to something similar i can go on to shop style search for what i want and it will bring up um everything within the price bracket i've chosen within the color i've chosen and you can even select specific brands that you want to use so you don't have to scroll through every single brand but it's so good and it, it kind of opens your eyes as well to brands you've never seen before so it's such a good thing oh what's this candy kitten sweets yum never tried any candy kitten sweets before oh this is a good one a shop style reusable mug in a lovely black color definitely will be using that oh my god honestly i've been so generous crunchy pet pretzels only 99 calories what brand is this indie bay i've never heard of these before yum oh so uncomfortable put my comfy trousers on oh i feel like i've hurt my leg in some way <gasps> jimmy j this is a Jimmy Choo fragrance. I've only, tr I've never actually had this one, um, but I know, oh, hang on, I had it in a mini. If it's the round one, I think it's this one. I've had it in a mini and I took it on holiday and really like it. So amazing that I've got full sized. What's this? Mask and oil extract. Facial sheet mask, oh, by Huxley love a sheet mask especially it's now coming up to the weekend so amazing some more indie bay pretzels but these are rock salt ones these look delicious again 99 calories per pack <gasps> i need a new umbrella i mean the weather has literally been horrendous it's just about to stop raining now but this is a lovely one as well thank you so much shop style this is so generous of them What's this? It's a pipe cleaning brush. I need to figure that one out at a later date. What is that? Um, ooh. Rose lemonade. Perfect with a gin. Delicious. Ooh, what are these? Honestly, so many good sweet treats. Raw chalk brownie. <gasps> But what are these? What's this brand? Pulsin. Mmm. A couple of those. I feel like there's something else in it. And then, within it, is this. So, oh, it's a headband, I think. We'll soon find out. I didn't really get to show you my outfit properly either, but um, it will be up on my Instagram, hopefully, if I got a decent picture of it. We were a bit rushed getting our pictures because a it was a bit drizzly and spitting but b we kind of wanted to get out of the area a bit so i soon left as, as we took our quick pictures <gasps> i mean this is so me i literally could have worn this at the event today you all know how obsessed i am with my headbands I need to actually do a headband collection because i've got some really good ones going on now and i feel like they improve every single outfit I'm going to keep this on. So this is from a brand called Love Fiddy. If I'm right. Oh, there's more in here. Oh, honestly, they have been so, so generous. Yeah, it's from a brand called Lo at Love Fiddy UK. They are on Instagram. I love these like independent jewellery shops. Um, I feel like they do headbands and earrings and stuff so well. <gasps> Look at these. How glam. How glam is that? I'm really unusual and unique as well. Ooh, another pair. Mm. Mm. Ooh. These are like pearls and gold. Wow. How generous. I feel like these also really go with the headband. Wow. That is so lovely, your shop style. Thank you so much. Honestly, I really encourage you to go and shine. Really encourage you to go and sign up to shop the to shop style because they've just oh hang on dad's calling hi that was just my dad calling to see if I was okay because he'd heard about it 
I've had all family members texting and calling but oh, what was I saying yeah I urge you to go and sign up to shop style they've not sponsored me or anything for this but I just think it's a really handy website um, to search for things you know if, the, if you've got in mind say you want a leather jacket but you don't want to scroll every single website there is to scroll go over there and um, it's really easy to do anyway I'm gonna end this vlog here because I think it's gone on long enough I don't know when I'm next vlogging but I'll definitely be doing a moving vlog um, and you get to see all that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it would honestly mean so much to me. I know that I say this all the time but just by pressing the subscribe button if you have been watching my videos it just makes such a difference and would really help me grow and be better and just keep doing what I'm doing really. So if you just press it, just a little click, then um, that would mean a lot. So thank you so much for watching. Oh, and go and follow me on Instagram at Lydia Jane Tomlinson is my Instagram handle. So I shall see you in my next video or vlog or whatever that may be. Bye.